The souvenirs of Olympic Games are not just made in China; they are designed by a local company in Beijing. In 2008, the company became a franchised producer of bandages for the 2012 London Olympics, a major success at the time. I think our initial bid. I mean, I was told by Lokog, the the London organising committee, that it was the the, the best、uh, bid that they'd received that they'd ever seen for most of them, and it was kind of shown around the the offices as like this paradigm of、uh, Olympic bidding. It was about that thick, and it、uh, came with all sorts of samples and designs, and it was it was very clearly、uh, ha had the UK culture and the UK Olympics that kind of history in mind, and I think that's probably what let us stand out as a company. Winning the bid for London Olympics was just the beginning. Lu Juan and her team has designed products for major global sporting events, ever things. As she put it, it's not just about Chinese culture and elements. The key is to integrate local cultures. We've introduced a lot of elements for our designs. We also collaborate with local designers to get a better idea of how to grab the attention of people with different cultural backgrounds. The export of trade and services from China has risen as more private sector companies join the game. China's trade and services used to be focused on large traditional industries such as construction. After years of development, China's service trade industry has grown quickly. Both the field and size of companies are becoming diversified. Delving to things like education, culture, and finance. Online meetings and commerce has saved a lot of small and medium companies still wading through the murky pandemic markets. The development of communication technology has proved an excellent tool for helping companies go global. We believe that through online platforms, working in the cloud, through 5G and high-tech information technology applications. Trading scenarios are becoming more and more diverse, which will greatly facilitate the service industry in its efforts at going global. According to China's Ministry of Commerce, the country's trade and service export rose over 8% in 2019, and the proportion of emerging sectors such as financial and IP services rose over 50% for the first time. Ning Hong, CGTN, Beijing.